talking about bringing back another spider because it was it, we, we talked around a couple years hadn't done it and then you drew some and it was looking good but then you drew this yeah and it was so weird i mean i loved it instantly I, and marcia loved it too you know i thought an alien spider of some sort could be cool uh especially with stuff like the mutant and alien parasite uh, you know, we've kind of proved that there is a place for sci-fi in the haunt world. And he's got a little extra set of teeth there. That was so cool. But it's just a really creepy thing. You can hang it and put it on the floor. Yeah. What else could you do with him, Tom? Well, you know, these legs are remarkably poseable. Uh, the, the armature system works that they pose best right at the joints where you kind of want them yes. to be moving. So it's almost like a, an oversized action figure. Yeah. So uh, as far as using this thing, it's kind of cool. Like in the dark, it's going to pop. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the things that we talked about when we were kind of designing the paint job was, you know, what is something that's going to stand out in a well-lit room versus what's going to stand out at right. night. And this. You know, this is going to cover both. Mm -hmm. Which was good, because this was a hard thing to figure out how to color it. And I don't know, it just, oh man, it's just so really weird. It was a really smart idea. Hi, this is the Alien Spider unboxing. We think, we think this is pretty cool. What you get is legs. And this very crazy critter. It's pretty easy to put together. Um, I want to show you a little trick to put the legs on. It's really fast. If you have a table of some kind, you just start by laying it down and you need to go up. So you hold the other three and you grab one of the legs, you go up and then you hold the other two legs, go up, up. And now you'll have to hold these legs and lift this one up. So that's the first bend. The second bend is everything, this, this row goes down. So you go down, down, and I'm not, you know, I'm like doing 45 degrees. Same with the last knuckle. And these are designed in a really cool way. They only bend at the knuckles. And then you take that and open them up. Now these can be bent, you know, depending on how you want them. They could wrap around rocks or whatever you want. But you do that to both legs. So once you flip this over, you'll see there's a, a metal bar with two bolts. And so grab one of the legs. And it slides in, and this is really strong stuff. You know, it's all welded metal. I mean, this is really tough stuff. You'll have to get it in far enough. Now, I've bent the legs a little too far to get it in, so you'll have to monkey with that. Make sure that the bolt is open enough to slide the metal in. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, you know. Slide in like that. And when you get it in enough for the, the uh, bolt to grab it, tighten it. Pretty snug, you don't want to strip it, but you don't want them falling out either. Do that to the other side. Again, just firm, but not crazy. That is it. And then you can play with the legs to get exactly where you want them, but they need to go, they need to start by going up. And then these can elevate them as well as this bend. and you just get them right where you want them. The nice thing about these props is, first of all, they're made with natural latex rubbers, very, very strong, and then they're filled with polyurethane foam, which is spongy, but really strong. And just for the record, there is a light in here. Now, this light will light up the body a little, 
uh, in the dark. And then this switch, you just, you switch it for several different modes. It's just a really, really creepy, crazy character that, you know, you can use your imagination on how you can terrify the neighborhood. The alien spider from Distortions Unlimited. And he come into your home. Yeah. You know, everything we do here is, is a group effort. Um, this was, was something that I got to have my hands in through through so much of the process, you know, the um, from, from concept to sculpt to paint job. Um, and it's, it's, you know, an alien, so sky's the limit, quite literally. Well, and that's why I've always loved aliens. Yeah.